Uh, hello, uh, good morning. My name is Elizabeth Cordeiro. I'm a PhD from Portugal, from the University of Beira Interior. And here I will uh, show some work that have been done in my PhD. It's the comparison between the human reaction in a simulacro fire drill and in a real fire situation. I will make a small introduction, some results and some conclusions. Uh, it's necessary to train the occupants so in an emergency situation they can react appropriately. These trains are only possible through exercise of fire drill. To understand if the human behavior in fire drill reflects the possible human behavior in a real fire situation, it's necessary to compare the action, the reaction, behavior of the occupants in both situations. The methodology that we use was based on the surveys. We have created three uh, kinds of survey with very common questions. The type one was uh, distributed among the people who were involved in the fire. There was a fire and we went there and distributed the survey. The survey type two is a survey more general. It was distributed among the general population. There was no selection made. And is to understand if what we think we will do is what we do. Because sometimes we think we'll do that and in the situation we can do another thing. And finally, the survey type three, it was distributed from the fire drill, the occupants, they take part in the fire drill and two shopping centers in Portugal. It's important to say that in the survey from the type three, the fire drill, 84% of the replies that we receive, uh, they were aware of the fire drill. This is important too, to see if there are difference between if I know what's happened or if I don't know what's happened. In total, we have 880 uh, replies. From the survey type one, we come, we receive three kind of difference, say from the residential, two from the residents, and one from industry. We have some difficult to get this information because the people are tired to reply to surveys, and sometimes they say, no, this is something that, uh, uh, a negative effect on us and we do want to uh, remember that. And uh, the general population, we have 648 replies and from the fire drill, we have 141. As uh, uh, all the presentation will be based on the graphics, uh, as for uh, how the, did you know that something was, was happening? This was a question from the survey type one and survey type three. In the residential fires, there was no fire alarm. The people were aware some, by another way. And we have uh, earth strange noise, uh, some saw unusual movement, and uh, was told. Regarding the survey uh, one, but in the industry, 35% considered that the, or there was the alarm that alert that something was, um, there was a strange for the situation. Regarding the fire drill, you have 80% that uh, answered the, or the alarm message because there was a, an alarm message to say the people to leave uh, the building because the security um, questions. And 30% that was the alarm. This is, um, so they heard the, 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 we have people that heard the alarm, but that not was the alarm that uh, gave the, the perception that there was something wrong. And from the survey type two, we have a, a question that was what mainly call your attention. Here we have 32% said that there is the alarm. 30% uh, uh, saw um, smell of smoke. That's something that will caught their attention. And 29 uh, sees the smoke is something that caught their attention. From the, uh, the alarm interpretation for the industry fire, we have 89% said there was a fire. There was a, then when they heard the alarm, the, there was a fire. From the survey, uh, from the fire drill, you have 78% there was the description, the interpretation of the alarm, it was a fire drill. You can see some difference here. If, if you know or if you don't know there was a fire drill. If you know there was a fire drill, 82% said there was a fire drill. If you don't know there was a fire drill, 38% uh, considered as a fire and 38% considered as a fire drill. There is some difference. If we, we, don't, we don't know what happened or we, don't, we know what's happened. Regarding the general survey, survey type two, what is the, uh, the uh, usual interpretation of the alarm? 
54 considered as a fire, 60 as a false alarm, 40 as a fire drill, and 80 other or maintenance. There, you can see there is difference from if it's a fire drill, it's a real fire situation. The alarm interpretation is different. If I know there will be a fire drill, uh, there will difference uh, from uh, one of the others. This time, stamp, uh, time spent be, uh, before I decide to leave the building. Here is another question that's important. How many time I stay in the building or I stay in the place before I decide to leave the building? 67% from the fire situation resident said they uh, between one and three minutes. Uh, for the, the industry fire, 67% said, said to one and three minutes. Regarding the fire drill, we have 21% said less than one minute, uh, 43 between one and three minutes, 20% between three to five minutes, 6% more than six, uh, six, uh, five minutes. It, there are people that can uh, enable to assess the time they stay there. Well, here we see some difference too. Reaction to the alarm. Well, as you can see, there are uh, uh, some difference from the the, the buildings that not have an, uh, an alarm system. The reaction was call for the neighborhood, a knock of the door for get information, try to find out what's happened, look outside. Uh, regarding when there was a fire alarm, 55% said they tried to leave the location to exit the building because the alarm can give you some interpretation different if there is no alarm. But regarding the fire drill, we have 75% left the building. There is a difference. And regarding the normal situation when you hear the alarm, what is, what is our reaction from the survey type 2? 51% said try to find out what's happened. We don't know. We will try to find out what's happened. Assessment of the situation. Here's two, uh, is there some difference here. From the residence fire, we see 67% per, uh, percent considered moderate danger. From the industry fire, 36% uh, considered extremely danger. There is a difference, maybe you can uh, see difference here. In the fire residence, the, the building were not destroyed. There was a fire, the people evacuate, but they still have their home. And regarding the industry, the build collapsed. The people uh, get out, everyone, and after that, the, peop uh, the building collapsed. Uh, from the fire uh, drill, there is if 42% considered not dangerous. The situation made me assessment a difference between if it's a real fire or is not a real fire. If uh, I make an assessment that is not dangerous, I can have a different reaction uh, of the situation. Another question uh, that was available, did you decide to abandon the building because someone told you? Regarding the resident fire, there was no uh, security staff. The people leave the building in 71% leave the building by uh, our initiative. Regarding the fire industry, there was a keep, uh, security staff. So someone told to the people, there was trained to, if in a fire situation, told to people to leave the, the building. Regarding fire uh, drill, 72% left because someone told. The message that was passed through that said to the people to leave the, uh, the building. Regarding the survey too, it was a question as a supposition, let's say, if you are in a fire situation, uh, you leave the building only if someone told you. And here we have 78% that said no, they leave uh, independent to someone told you or not. Taking something with you. When you decide to leave the building, do you take anything with you? Because taking some can increase my time in that I stand in the building. In the fire uh, residential, uh, we have 67% said no. In the Industry fire 62, uh, 68 said no to, and the fire drill 62 said yes, we bring uh, something with us. Regarding the survey, general uh, survey, 86% uh, said no. Yes, before leaving, you will try to collect your personal belongings. The people said no in the general situation. The task, uh, another question, or before decide to abandon the building, did you perform any the following task? Look for families, fam uh, uh, warm others, contact the fire brigade, firefight, help others, or uh, pick care of things. Regarding the fire in the residential, 58% uh, said no. 
in industry 43 said yes uh, 53 said yes so, uh, fire drill 64 said yes and in the survey 93% said yes the important is to see what kind of task the people said they will do or they have done uh, from the resident fire, 50% said they will warn others to alert the other uh, other persons. In the fire drill, 90% was to collect pick uh, collect your things. It was pick uh, your things. In the industry fire, it was 60% was warm others or uh, search for family. Here too, we see some difference in the fire drill and in a real fire situation. And uh, when you see from the survey, the general survey is contact of the fire brigade, uh, search for family, uh, while others are um, different, but in not in live in a real situation. Way to leave the building. Uh, to leave the building, did you use the way you normally use? Here uh, you can see from the fire situation, 60%, 68% said yes. Fire drill, 69% say uh, yes. And in the, regarding the survey two, the question was if you are in the building, which path you'll use to exit the building? Only 33% said yes. There were several uh, points they can choose, uh, pick the uh, nearest exit, uh, uh, use the normal uh, way, um, follow the emergency, uh, um, the signals of the emergency. It was different, but only 33% said that you will use normally PET. And, in, and you can see in the fire and in the fire drill, that's not that uh, the, the people do. Regarding in the fire deal that was in the shopping center and we have people that work there, people that are shopping and people that are just passing through. And regarding the people that was passing through, 100% said they used the normal uh, way. Uh, the people that work there, 60% they said they used the normal way. And the people that was shopping, 89% said they was the normal way to leave the building. The use of emerging exit. In the fire situation, 78% said yes. In the fire drill, 73 said no. Here, there is a difference. Uh, uh, you can see because in the fire situation and in the fire drill, the exit can be the the, uh, the emerging exit can be the issue or can be in the use that I use normally. Regarding the, the three kind of person that was in the fire drill, 100% said they didn't use the emergency exit, and the, the, the people that worked there, 60 said they said no, and the people that were shopping, 96 uh, said uh, no. Another question was faced with the smoke. The reaction of the pent when they faced the, with the smoke. In the paper uh, is right uh, uh, how much meter they, the people can see uh, with the smoke. Uh, here I not present yet. Uh, uh, just what was the reaction when they faced the smoke? 83% uh, continue is route. They don't uh, turn back and not try another way. They continue their route. And in the survey number two, when we ask if you are faced with the smoke when you try to leave the building, what you, you, will be your reaction? 67% said they try another way how to live in the building. There is different from what I, I will do and what I do in the real situation. Uh, the reaction with the, the when faced with the fire, 82% from the fire situation uh, said they continued the path they were on. They don't uh, turn, only 80% return back when they face the fire. And the, the question, a similar question, but in the survey too, what you will do if you are faced with the fire? And here's 53% uh, try to find another way out to leave the building. There is two, some difference in what we do and what we supposed to do and for um, try to understand that is different. I say something, but maybe I'll do something different. From conclusion, all the, all the analysts that we are doing now, the behavior of the occupants can depend on their knowledge of the situation as well as assessment of it. When the alarm is heard, sometimes it's not enough to decide to leave the building. Before the living building, the occupants perform several tasks. The main tasks are looking for family, warm mothers, and take, uh, take some personal items. In order to leave the building, occupants tend to not well use the most appropriate weight, giving preference to the normal pet they use in, to enter in the building. 
In the fire drill, the behavior of the occupants may be different compared to the real situation. As we all know, the human behavior is direct or indirect uh, related with the emergency situation, the occupant characteristics, and the building characteristics. The goal of my PhD is to create a behavior model, to create profiles uh, that will have uh, the, the gender, the age, the, the training in fire safety, or is if I am a leader or not, to create profiles uh, of uh, behavior in the, in the emergency situation. Questions? No? Okay. Good. Well, thank you very much. Perfect timing. So.